I'm Perry. This is Hidden in Plain Sight. To my right, Star of All Things Plays TV, the one and only Mr. Brandon Steele. Every time I get a commercial on YouTube now, I understand the people who say capitalism ruins everything. What uh, what have you been getting? Because I actually wanted to start with uh, a YouTube commercial I got earlier uh, today. I, I mean, various bullshit prescription pills. Okay, that's... ED shit. I think because we use the laptop that I use for show purposes, like it is completely... My algorithm is nuts. Probably. I've been getting all kinds of crazy shit. Yesterday, or I'm sorry, not yesterday, this morning, I got like a weird pickup artist ad where it was like an old dude who was promising he would give you uh, like certain phrases that all would right. guarantee you could have sex, basically. Which Hell yeah, dude. I don't really think that's a thing. I think that's like no, spell casting. I was going to say, that sounds like a magic spell, to be honest. But what happened, that guy, he was weird and like something was off about him. It seemed like they just hired and That the guy magic to... spell is Rahipnol. <laughs> yes, no. Wingardium Rahipnol. <laughs> this led to me finding someone else, though, and I can't tell if this guy's a bit, because... Well, I'll I'll play one of these videos. It's only like 30 seconds. And then we can try and figure out whether or not this... Oh, first of all, look at the guy. He's He isn't exactly what I would call uh, classically good looking. He kind of looks like Giannis Papas. I was, I was trying to think of who he looks at. A little bit of that. A little bit of like a Newman from Seinfeld. Yeah. But let's... Uh, Let's listen to his advice. Impossible to get was fuck you. To, I'm going to take my ball and go home. It's that anger line where that is consuming. It's like, um, entertain me, bitch. Give me your phone number right now. Okay, Hell yeah. Know. I'm not sure if that's a great place to start. I can tell this guy fucks. I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> what are you looking at? What's your problem? You got a problem with me sitting down here? I'm sitting down here. Boom. You know? Oh, hey, hey what's up? You don't like me talking to you? Bye, you fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Everyone knows this yeah, is how you get pussy. You guys wouldn't probably do it with that kind of language, but you would do it a different way. Hell yeah. That's yeah. that's solid Possible advice. Because you're not fucking cool like me. But then from there, I found there's testimonials for the guy from... Uh, I mean, I guess whatever works. Well, Hi, this is Rahul, and I'm one of the fortunate nice, uh, people to, to witness this first why ever video product. Oh, why can't I go into full screen? That Steve is uh, provided. Um, the content... Yes, hello, you fucking bitch. Give me your number. <laughs> Listen, you bitch. Could you just show me Bob's and Vagina ready? What are you making we wait for, you stupid bitch? Give me phone number, dumb cunt. You stupid really fucking whore. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to I fucking beat the uh, shit about out this of was, you. Um, Steve broke down the entire gaming process uh, <laughs> bit by bit into, into small chapters. There's uh, quite a few of these testimonials that I will say every single guy is some variation of this Now dude. I am <laughs> drowning in pussy. It is quite incredible. I, I need to have Vishnu's arms to finger all the women. <laughs> uh, and he went into detailed explanation of each of them. So, so we knew... Uh, uh, we understood the whole process, and if you see here, I've taken almost a lot of notes. Uh, I've never taken such notes in uh, I was graduate. I was valedictorian at my high school, so I take very copious notes. I am number one in pussy school. <laughs> Life, so thanks, Steve, for this fantastic uh, course. And what I really like about Steve is 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 authenticity. He comes across as a very authentic person, yeah. as a very genuine oh, I person. Thought you, I thought you would like all the pussy he gets. Yeah, calling women fucking bitches. Yeah, yeah. fuck bitch. Um, <laughs> and and the fact that uh, uh, the stuff. Uh, 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 and the fact that I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think he's got the tools to, uh, to... I mean, look, sometimes you have a degree, but not the skills. All right, hold on. There's a few other videos. They do... Uh, I don't remember if I copied the link on those, but they do uh, like scenario training where they they set it up. All right, I'm a fucking hot slut. Now, how are you going to approach me in this situation? They actually get women. They, fuck, I should have copied that link. There's a great one where one of his like students goes up and talks to the women and just fails horribly. And then when he walks away, the girls just start laughing and like... <laughs> <laughs> Even though he had just implemented what uh, our nerd pickup uh. artist here had told them to. This is chaotic bad boy pickup game will get you laid. Hell yeah. They figured you out, the game's over. The whole game for women is trying to outmaneuver you. So when they're your hot woman and you do a boring thing and they 
tell you to they, they act really rude to you and disrespectful, you don't do anything, then the game's not fun anymore. What's fun for them is the engagement, is mm -hmm. the roller coaster ride, is the drama, is the unfolding, is the soap opera. Women love drama, don't they? Isn't that that's the key? I mean, he's not wrong there, I guess. I think it's usually drama with other women. Yeah, I don't know that they necessarily like a random, frumpy looking guy coming in and causing drama. I'm not sure that's the best advice. It's like um, romance novels. Like they're just full it's all his drama. She Clint looked at him with these daring eyes. He approached her and knocked her to the ground. She was so upset. <laughs> Seconds later, they were making out. I love that all his advice is just call him a whore and hit him. Yeah. She left him just, you know, treat him like shit. They love that. Told her it's called shot. caveman game. Yeah. She left in a car. Weeks later, she found herself thinking about Clint, fantasizing about Clint, his glaring eyes, his amazing stare. His lips pressed up against her. He's going but on. No, she wouldn't talk to Clint. Kind of no, uncomfortably long. If you didn't know, I'm Clint. Look I'm at how hot I am. Me, I'm him. I'm so hot. And then at some point, she saw Clint at the grocery store. They went into the car. They had right. It'd be so funny if this dude got exposed for actually never getting laid. Uh, I mean, based on looking at him, that wouldn't be the most shocking thing about any of this. Just he's, for just never well, getting pussy, Jeffers, but he's just he teaching dudes how to get pussy. How? No, there's how to make out with women on the street. I Actually, think that's just assaulting. Really yeah, I mean, <laughs> force? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, here's the thing. There is a 100% guaranteed <laughs> way to go about yeah. it. It yeah. just involves a pistol. <laughs> yeah, look, nature, nature allows us to do these things. That'd be so fucking funny to put out a pickup artist course. It's just a Get your Glock mask. 9 yeah, yeah, and, and walk, the, walk down the street, find the first lady you want to kiss, and <laughs> put the gun to her head. And a rag with chloroform. My 100% proven pickup artist method. Can't just go in and yes, Dr. Steve told me how to <laughs> choke a bitch. <laughs> Nice. Thanks to Dr. Steve's advice, I now know <laughs> to hit the women with the chloroform before I get her into the van. I am wanted in three states. <laughs> oh, I am a serial killer, yes. But my pickup like, line is so much better now. But, like, uh, you see what I mean about the weird vibe? Like, this feels almost like a bit. Like, it's two of the most... I mean, yeah, rape class is kind of a bit. Yeah, it's two of the weirdest looking dudes. I'm guessing the, these videos based on quality are probably from... Late 90s, well, early 2000s, maybe. Based I'm on the Steve, way they're dressed. and I'm going to teach you how to get away with it. <laughs> like this whole, this whole bitch show. Thing. It's like, <laughs> people, wait, what? Are you? It's like this whole, this whole bitch show. Thing. It's like, <laughs> people want to get busted. Like I've had this experience a lot online or with women mm -hmm. where I got busted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was in some chat rooms you're not supposed to be in. Uh, you'll never believe it. I met Chris Hansen the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I will call them. Like, you seem incredibly nasty. Mm -hmm. And I really don't appreciate being talked to in that way. And we'll go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And this happens almost at every approach camp. And there's some approach point camp. where it breaks. And often, I would say at least 50% of the time, the woman will say, wow, that was really hot or that was really invigorating or no women is ever that was that. really invigorating i love the way you berate me i love being invigorated it's it's important to remember he's oh, oh i'm invigorated <laughs> uh. he's talking about just approaching a woman on the street and then berating yeah. her and that leads to hey hey you stupid fucking cunt <laughs> want to make out <laughs> it was like orgasmic or whoa why I yes i do now. How'd you know? So like that phone sex thing where yeah. we're living together. But like I can distinctly what? remember this woman on the street when I was in Florida. Just all out. Just like a fucking war. I'm like, you're you know, I went up and said, you know, your outfit doesn't make any fucking sense. This <laughs> Hell yeah, like dude. You. This guy's such a dick. Hey, hey, what the fuck were you thinking here? You <laughs> look so stupid right yeah. now. You're obviously blonde because this doesn't match at all, and you look incredibly drunk, and you actually look pretty <laughs> dumb to me. She's like, fuck you, you think you have, you go up to strangers on the street and you can just tell them all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, because you're a fucking bitch. And we're back and forth. <laughs> He's so smooth. He's suave. Gosh, he just, he doesn't even hesitate. You ugly fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because you're a fucking dumb bitch. Yes, excuse me, you ugly fucking bitch. <laughs> excuse me, bitch, why are you so fucking ugly and dumb? But Dr. Steve said this would work. What do you mean <laughs> you're calling the police? Dr. Steve said this is how we've entered. Now this I have a sex with you. This is not in the seminar. Do you <laughs> want to go to your place or mine? Screaming. She was screaming, screaming, screaming. Oh, I'm under arrest. You know, okay. Point, what I did to change direction, which, I, which is usually my tool, is I will be the first one to soften. Mm. I'll say, okay, I'll give you this. 
You're really hot. You could suck my dick. I wasn't sure else to approach you. Then instantly she will melt. And she will say, mm, and I'll wow. say, haven't you ever been in a situation where you've been intimidated by somebody? It's like, yeah. Oh, what what, what great game. Damn. You were so hot, I had to call you a fucking bitch. Yeah, no, I had to be a <laughs> cocksucker just because you're too attractive. Instantly we're making out. But instantly the next just thing is. Just straight to making out? Yeah. Wow. Th this uh, never happened. There's <laughs> usually, in my experience, there's a little in between there. Between, you got to work on. Between you know? walking up to a stranger, calling her a fucking bitch. Yeah. And then. And then just making out with oh, her. Oh, sorry, the street. you were hot. <laughs> Tongue and mouth on the street. Mm. And that's that's sort of been a repeating theme. And for then me. I fucked her in You're front of children. <laughs> and I made uh, them watch. You know, not always to that cheered. extent of instantaneous, but the reason I want to keep it in there is that we said this earlier. I think this is the major point is a boring guy, there's nothing relatable about him. The jump between being boring and having sex is like a million miles away. Because there's no energy to this passionless discussion about the news or the weather. What do you think of this? Do the sports teams or do you do Yeah, boys? straight to fucking. Look, he's not necessarily wrong. I just, I don't think, there's ways to be interesting that involve not being an asshole. Yeah. Because he's not necessarily wrong and the, the person will remember you, but I, not that's not necessarily a good thing. I like to imagine these guys as like guru-like monks who just live on various mountains and dudes go to them. Mr. Guru, <laughs> please tell me how to get pussy. There's, I, I found, I'll try and find him again. There was another guy who does, fuck, what was it? It's called like White Lily Tantra. And he's like this mystical hippie looking dude with long hair. Who, Hell yeah. Who can like fuck women with his eyes. Yeah, <laughs> just like the pussy guru who lives yeah, yeah. in the, Hi the Himalaya mountains. That, it's just, it's Steve meditating on playboys. Mm, you fucking slut. Uh, <laughs> you're you a fucking whore. bitch. <laughs> But intensity, <laughs> intensity is sexual. You think about it as like high vibrations in the body, the adrenaline rush, uh -huh. the pump. Of getting away with say. it. Yeah. When I'm doing <laughs> the, the pump, thrill it's, of I'm committing the crime. Oh, hold on. Listen to his Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. As Arnold would say. When I'm doing the pump, it's I'm coming. I'm doing. Wow, what great! Wow, that was sick delivery. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm coming. <laughs> when I'm doing the pump, I'm coming. Let's talk about some ways. So, I'll, I'll Arnold the Frog, so, the man sense, who gets the most pussy in the world. Oh look, he cuts he cuts his uh, partner off here too. He tries to get him off this, but. Let's talk about some ways. So, I'll, let me keep going. Okay. His dead dude just like goddamn fucking art again. I I told you this is a terrible bit. So. In that sense, I, that's why I want intensity. And in some way, I think some of you guys are really good at getting women to laugh. That's an intensity, that's an intense experience. Like, God, this is really fun. You're really having, we're having a great time, you know. And It'd be so funny if a, a documentary crew followed him around and he was just drowning in pussy. Every so often, there is a guy who manages, <laughs> you see it a it's lot. It's just him getting calls 24, ah, God, again? <laughs> Hello? No, Diane, I can't dick you down tonight, okay? Maybe next time. There is something to be said for dudes who, who put this much effort into it, which is like, it will happen if this guy, his whole life is based around this. <laughs> Just, and if you want to yeah. take all aspects of your life and solely focus it on this, you will be successful to some extent. It's so funny to just imagine him crushing pussy constantly. Just a fat To the slob. point where, like, it's, it's a burden for him. <laughs> Fun guy. You know, a demonstration of several fun experiences means you're a fun guy, not just a fun or funny little joke. You're like, well, that's a funny joke. Six or seven funny course. things, you're a funny guy. <laughs> it's probably better I'm a than Andrew Tate. Guy, which comes across, but not just because of one thing I say. It's the way I be, I the see, way I sit, if, uh, the we way can I go find, in. Where was the, the pussy guru guy? I think it might have been on the same channel. Oh, yeah, see, they got like... There's multiple pussy gurus. It seems like that would be a saturated field. So I'll start with some of the very simple approaches. Wow, look like at this suave gentleman. In mm. a bookstore or something like that. Hey, you dumb cunt. What if, what if I fucking killed you? <laughs> Where's it amazing? Just, it, it works every time. I threaten to kill them and they all submit. They always comply. And they're crying. Tears of joy. Place to eat around here. <laughs> Wow, what you got to go to school for this one. Hey, where can we get some food? <laughs> I'd say, well, where's an amazing place to eat around here? I think yeah. you probably want to go downtown. Oh, it's not your <laughs> pussy? Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you like there? The point of this 
which, which I think oh, is... God, there's audio? There's a voiceover? <laughs> Fuck, yes. Really understated is simple questions open up a universe. Hmm. And you can see... Because this is not... dumb. Wow. Did you know that asking questions yeah. opens up the possibility These for guys have really figured it out. They've really nailed down a system. Yeah. Taken off yet, though they will. But these sorts of oh, questions that you guys probably think are really stupid... Is it just me, or does the woman look very sad to be talking to him? Maybe I'm imagining things, but she doesn't look uh, terribly elated. She thought she was talking to the hot dude. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid or really um, lame, you really should use them, because they are the perfect way to open up a conversation. I wonder if he keeps her around just because he's he knows, uh, or keeps him around because he knows he's more attractive by comparison. You mean like the, the cheerleader effect yeah. where he's yeah. better at a group? I, probably. That's probably one of his fucking tactics. I assume these guys are all sociopaths. Are I think you have to be to do what they're doing. Yeah, this is sociopathy, like just in peak MGTOW form. Because I, I think to use another human being in a way that is only for the purposes of your pleasure is sociopathic. Well, just viewing human interaction as a game meant to be won is kind of like textbook sociopathy. Yes, with no concern for anyone's yeah. benefit but your own. Yeah. You're, you're like a chain restaurant kind of girl? Or are you more like... Yeah, uh, are you easy to eat in that? Jesus, this, this is... Someone so what do you this. like? Do you like chilies? I yeah. love chilies. You like food? I like food. Yeah. How about TGIF? Uh, you go to like the specialty place or what? Wow. Do you, do? you put out? We'll go to oh, Red I Lobster. You were asking because you wanted to find a place to eat. Oh Lobster. no, it's not going well. That'd be so funny if he got shot down in his own seminar. It's it's not looking great. And then he just killed her. Well, do uh, you think that's why the the dub over is there? Maybe if he's doing like a play by play of how Depends this went what wrong. You want to eat. All right, well, what do you like to eat? I like a little of everything. Okay. So, um... Okay. <laughs> well, this is not going how we planned it to go. I, I thought you'd be on my dick by now. I've been asking people lately that I think is pretty interesting because it tells you about them. And I'd like did to know you do anal? You. <laughs> what would you do if somebody gave you a million dollars? Wow, what wow. a question. That's so original. Really? You never thought about what you would do or what you'd like your life I'd to be I'd murder like? my ex-husband. I, I don't know what I would do, though. Oh, well, what might you try? Have you tried um, sucking my dick? <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, <laughs> oh, now he's all right. He is breaking the third wall here. He's not getting any or fourth wall. I don't know. Like she was, see, at this point, I'm like, <laughs> there have been at least three things I've tried and I've gotten like nothing back. Okay, so she's care. repulsed by <laughs> me. <laughs> How do and we approach like, this? <laughs> It's so funny to pay, fail at talking to a chick during your pickup artist that, conference. That you've paid for? <laughs> She's literally just there to <laughs> accept what you say. Like, ah, no, I'm no. not. I'm not. No, I don't eat. I've never yeah. thought about having money A million money dollars? Yeah. I'd like to be broke. Okay, so I'd this rather point, be poor <laughs> than talk to you. I might jump on the thing. <laughs> But I don't care, right? That's so. That's where we're mm -hmm. going with that. Yeah, I'm totally. I totally don't care. My feelings aren't hurt. No, this doesn't matter. Your to me feelings at all. are hurt. Okay, you're the pussies, not me. You're the dumb bitch. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me that you haven't thought about what you might want to do. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I know I've thought a lot He's about what I would do. He's just gonna get combative. If I could do sort of whatever I wanted, or if I had unlimited funds, mm. would you like go to an island in the Bahamas and? I'd uh, eat your pussy. Just hang out or, <laughs> I'd have what sex would be with me. <laughs> I I'm not, I'm not inviting you. I I'm think just... it's a super personal question. I just don't ah. really want to tell you. Damn. Holy shit, she is shooting him down. Damn. Oh, my God. Did he tell her to do this? I can't imagine that's the case. But also, why Why did you not refilm this? Ah, uh, Maybe this ends well? Well, we've got time right. left. Well, that's fine with me. Well, that's okay. I love this okay. one. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Um. All right. All right. I think the, I think the, the oh, voiceover is coming in. I don't ah. really want to tell you. All right. Well, that's fine with me. I love this woman. She's such a fucking bitch. <laughs> Damn, it's, these guys are so cool. Yeah, dude, they're just, they're crushing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, this lady was such a fucking cunt. Did you notice how he's not even brave enough to say that to her face? No, he goes oh, back no. in post and edits in himself being like, you know what I would have said? Well, he <laughs> watched his back and he was like, God damn fucking bitch, cunt. Not going well. Yeah. Doing this in front of she my was people. Incredibly mean. She was incredibly um, mean. But now you can see that I'm making it more confrontational. I'm going into the, um, I forgot what it was I just said. It's strange to me that you wouldn't have thought about it. Or... 
Yeah, you're pinning her on specific. She's saying things that are incredibly vague and generalized, and you're pushing her for specific. As opposed to his specific questions of, hey, what food do you like? Yeah, no, he really <laughs> dropped some heaters on her, and she just you wasn't sure? taking it. What about it. this point? What about this point? What about this point? To get her to react. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> I mean, for me, I'm done. I don't know if you've got ideas here. <laughs> okay, great. Brent? Oh, he's tagging it out. Oh, wow. That might be where he'd go. <laughs> right, because you could escalate it. I mean, the thing is, I don't, I don't particularly feel like giving her a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because she's not. She's just, she's just not. Well, because here's the thing. I yeah. didn't fail. She's just a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> she's just a dumb bitch, and she's not picking up, doesn't want it. So I'm not going to force her. She's not picking up what I'm putting down. Into it. So, so what? <laughs> but if you wanted to, you could say, wow, you're really mean. You know, you're really, I don't think she is actually being particularly mean or cold. But you could go with that. Wow, you're really cold. What is it about you? So you're the kind of woman who is oh, really so cold. Oh, so this is me. why you're single. Yeah, I, I don't. Again, I'm not sure the tactics of that to be like. Have you ever thought about why you're such a content? I mean, look, I haven't done the research. Mean to guys who ask simple questions. You're the kind of woman who takes things really personally. When um, when I like how he was gonna leave, but he had to get the last word. In. Oh, well, because he looks like a fucking tool yeah, in front of he, his class. He looks so gay right now. The guys have gathered to learn from him, and he yeah. just fucking strikes out horribly. <laughs> So you into food? Well, that didn't work. You're a bitch. Oh, oh, well, you know, she's just too big of a dumb bitch for me to get this across. I never even wanted to fuck her. Yeah. What do you do if you want to wonder? What's up with that? All right? What's the deal with me not getting pussy? It didn't occur to me when I was there, so like, oh, I'm just done. I'm out of here. Red pill Once Seinfeld. Once I stand up, all the answers come. So those are some other options. Let me give that a try. Oh, he's going back. Oh, he's going back in for more. This is great. I love this. This is awesome. I'm so funny. <laughs> you stand up and then all the lines show up. That's exactly how it is for everybody. But what's great is that I like that you're detached from this. You know, you're You know what that means though is he was like frazzled in in the moment. He oh yeah, it, she she rejected him. Yeah, so once he stood up he was like got a second to gather himself. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, Oh, I should have necked her. I mean I think that's a really healthy attitude. This right? is, I don't know why, how he forgot his entire his entire playbook is just call her a dumb bitch. Yeah, it's just be a dick. How'd you forget that within <laughs> that? That's how flustered you got. You forgot to be an asshole. This is the segment of society and the time where like nagging became a thing. Though. Yeah, this, these are the guys. These all the young men in the audience when the dudes are telling you to do this. These are the guys yeah. they learned it from. <laughs> yeah, this is who Andrew Tate picked his game up from. Yeah, you try a couple things. If it doesn't well, go well. You get the fuck out. Why? <laughs> Why? You know, we have this attachment that it always has to work out when we're really. That's that's ridiculous. You it know? never works yeah. out. I think that the reason that <laughs> I've never slept with a woman. But you keep <laughs> chasing it. The ability opened up for me when I stood up. Like, oh, I think it's all these possibilities is that, that I really did let go. You know, for most guys, they look at a hot woman and suddenly they tighten up, you know, and I think it happens to us some too. It, it just always seems to happen. Like, I got to make this work. But if you can really let go of making it work and having some lines in your mind that you can use will help you let go of having to make it work. So... You know, lines of practice out loud are lines like, oh, so you're the kind of woman who's mean to strangers who ask simple questions. Oh, so you're a <laughs> you're cunt. You're the kind of woman who takes things personally when when they really aren't all that personal. I, so, I don't think that's a happens. line. I think that's just a response. I think I'm going to get a lot of no from her at this point, right? But So you're the kind of woman who... Uh, is it just an bitch? He forgot his line again. How embarrassing. Like no to every question when somebody comes. Did something happen to you that would really scare you? <laughs> Were you molested yeah. as a child? Who no, touched you? <laughs> no. Are right, you going to say no right now? Um, I'm going to say I think that what you're doing is interesting, but it's also kind of offensive. Nice. <laughs> so, what else is a, it's also kind of offensive? <laughs> it's offensive? Unlike your behavior? You <laughs> fucking bitch. All right, let's fucking see. I'm bitch. sorry I had to say that. <laughs> But I mean, there's, there's oh, a lot the of women genuine you, disdain you in his voice is really what does it for me. He just hates women. He really, you really feel the just you fucking bitch. That is kind of the only way you can do some of this. You really have to have a genuine disdain yeah. for the opposite sex. Just, yeah. Ah, you dumb fucking cunt. One hits the wall with like this. And... But as we'll notice, as this goes on a little bit more. It does open back up too, which is really interesting. This, well, there's this whole concept. I just like isn't this lady to here woman, you know, to play to this anyone. role? I don't entirely. I doubt some random woman would subject themselves to this. Yeah, I, I 
they had to have picked her to be So there. her being picked and just nuking this dude every time <laughs> is so fucking yeah, or, funny. No woman's ever offensive to you, which they seem to feel perfectly free to do a lot of the time. This woman certainly does. Oh, yeah, so they hurt my feelings. But it also points to, like, you guys watching have this idea of the perfect seducer that every, if you are the best seducer in the world, every time you approach a woman, it will lead to sex and the ultimate outcome, which is not true. I mean, I expect every it moment in this interaction. Gave. I mean, you did putting... say every time. Yeah, and also, I mean, I don't think approaching someone and saying, like, hey, where can we get food? Or, that's not, like, next level yeah, That's I can come have, up with that dumb shit. I didn't have to pay money to think of that yeah. sentence. You it on the table that it may dissolve and she may get up and be done with you. And I'm going to keep this plan while okay I look for the, uh, the other the, pussy guru. We, we, where we want you guys to come from. Yeah, you'll have a lot more success that way. So let's see what happens. Now, one of the, one of the core ideas that if you're going to be in, in interactions that have some intensity is you always agree with negative assessments of you. God, there's so and you many always videos. disagree with positive assessments of you. Men got to teach they people. Say, well, so what, is, what, what offends you? I mean, I'm glad you're interested. That's fine. But what offends you? What's offensive uh, to you? Um, you're trying to dig into me. You don't know me. <laughs> but you're not offering anything about yourself, and I don't trust you. Oh, well, so you'd like to know more about <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was a really good answer. Damn. What would you like to know about me? I don't know. Tell Are you going to assault me? Well, see, what would I do if I could do Oh, anything? I found it. Okay, okay. i got to jump in here and interrupt myself. Now... How would you like this to looks to bad. <laughs> <laughs> but what you don't understand is this is part of the game. You just got to stay. Keep watching. <laughs> and have her complaint be about you that she wants to know more about you. You know, did you guys, as you watch this, did you see this coming at all? You know, that that you're not sharing more about yourself. I want to know more about you. You know, it he's is trying weird. to flip yeah. this as a win. Yeah. yeah, she's getting, you know, no, she's interested. Point, but you can feel that they're. Because I've been willing to engage in the conflict, there is a moving towards me that is happening. You know, we were just talking about how, how there's a, there a guy here who just came back from being a month-long vacation in Fiji. And I was saying, wow, I have a four-day vacation planned at Christmas time, and it's the first vacation. Would you like I've to have sex with me then? <laughs> saying, yeah. What I would <laughs> do I is I would go spend yeah. a month in Fiji if I could do whatever I wanted to do. Really? Uh, yeah, or someplace like, I mean, they just had a coup there, so maybe not. But someplace like that, I mean, I, I've never done, I don't know if you've done this, but I've never done the go lie on a beach thing. Never done it. Never I have. have. That's good. You should do it. I mean, it wow. And just like it, that. It, it's not boring? This or is, it's it's just, not boring. This what, is what happened? the most awkward conversation I've ever watched. It's so it soulless. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely Snorkeling curious. is really fun. Snorkeling? Mm -hmm. Wow. Where have you snorkeled? Hawaii. Wow, okay, that's far away. But that wow, okay. <laughs> wow, what a, what a zinger about Hawaii. Yeah. Wow, that's far away. Wow. <laughs> Super fun. So, um, so is snorkeling the one where you're, the tube's out of the yeah. water? Wow. So wow. what do you see? What, what's so amazing about it? Wow. Fish, coral. This has to be a bit. Fish Sharks. and coral. The one-two punch has worked. What? Yeah. <laughs> he, he did it, dude. He won. Nice. And now <laughs> she gargles my balls. <laughs> If I were in, I think, in a bar situation with this, at about this point, I'd be, like, wanting to um, get away from her for a while and then come back. Mm. And Ooh, and yeah, separate. In, some you know, absence makes now. the heart grow fonder. And right, husband, right. She realized what she let get away. Yeah, you know? a man who, who can <laughs> answer in two but to yes, three she's words. She's definitely softened down. In, in oh, yeah, you can sense that. Yeah, she's really That's into you, buddy. friend of mine was in Hawaii, and he was doing... I guess it was snorkeling, and he was with some guys who were spear fishing. Did you see anybody doing that? Oh yeah. So he's trying to spear fish, and they're like, "Here, hold this octopus," and it's climbing all over him and getting on his face. What? Because they're spearing things, because they're natives. Uh -huh. so finally, the he finally spears octopus a fish. Is playing. He's like, this is so great! I speared a fish, right? And he's so happy, and he holds it up, and they all go ashen. And he realizes he's killed and a he's native. Like, What's <laughs> like, dude, you just speared the state fish of Hawaii. It's Whoopsies. like a felony. So this is this a true story? Yeah. It's my friend Rob. Wow. This actually happened. We still no, make it fun didn't. of him. Oh, no, I don't really have Did friends. No, 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 no. I they live alone. They're they repulsed by me. I hope it got better. <laughs> That's nice. So where do you like to go there? I mean, uh, what part my of Hawaii asshole would you is like puckered. This is, it's just um, it pure depends. cringe. Yeah, yeah. this is really this is rough. Hiking. This is terrible. <laughs> Wahoo is good for I would be asking for a <laughs> refund after picture. this. <laughs> hey, you guys clearly and... get absolutely no <laughs> pussy. Can <laughs> I have my money back? <laughs> I, so you I, you know, when I signed up, 
I thought I was going to get masters. You guys have no fucking clue what you're doing. I mean, the money could have just been spent on the hooker at that that point. (laughs) In a conversation, right? And the thing to notice is we went through a... A Rocky point? Yeah, a Rocky point. And now what... what, I don't even know your name. What's your name? He didn't even ask her fucking... Jennifer, Jennifer, I'm David. Her name doesn't fucking matter. One thing that we know about each other now is that we can actually go through a Rocky point and still be in an interaction. Now, we're still really undecided about each other, but we know that we can, I mean, there's a way in which that builds a little bit of trust right? versus just connecting. We know we can survive a disconnect. So, anything else on that? Thanks. I Thanks. wanted to see the other guy. Uh, do it. If you looked at the standpoint of the conversation uh, clause, But that didn't get him pussy. Out. Well, I think in his mind it did. Or did he just beat the woman? That's most likely. I... I he probably should have uh, noted that, like, if he wasn't paying that woman to be there, that conversation would have lasted about 10 seconds. Yeah, he would have gotten through one of those opening questions. Yeah, like, if she didn't have to stay in that chair, she yeah, probably that's would have At one point, a bartender comes over and he goes, Miss, are you, are you okay? <laughs> Is he bothering you? Is he bothering you? White Tiger Tantra, it's a five DVD set that will teach you how to have, show women how to have orgasms. <laughs> Hell yeah, they're dude. Teach massage. Traditional massage. Uh, I mean, massage. look at that dude. He knows how to make women come. Yeah, this is the pussy guru I was talking about. He has like some spiritual massage uh, technique. My own protocols that are called sensual enhancement massage. The places where you, you, they don't teach you in any massage school because it releases it's rape. endorphins. And <laughs> you just start fingering the, the hidden massage, parts of the, of the pussy. And on the outside of the vagina. All right, we're gonna jump off this. I'm sorry to, to drag everyone into watching this guy. Damn, being a pussy guru is a cool ass job, though. I, I want to. I... What do you do for a living, Steve? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm something of a pussy guru myself. I swear there was some. I think it was this guy. He had some video about like some sort of soul contact or something. Damn, he makes your soul come. He does just by looking at you. Wow, there's a lot of testimonials. That sounds on intense. Too. All right, anyways, we can jump off of that. Uh, we should talk about your your. Time on Fish Tank, I suppose. Man. Oh, Fish Tank was cool. It just ended yesterday. Oh, it actually did end. Yeah, there TJ won. But yeah, it was with. Uh, I got to. We got to do the live show there. Um, hung out with Ben and Chet and Vance and Josie and the crew. It was a good time, dude. It was pretty cool. That house was. It looked like a trap house. Yeah, I would imagine. I don't know how much of a budget they've got for that stuff, but they probably don't want. To, it's all worked in. They probably don't want to dump a bunch of money into a house they know they're gonna fuck up. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Point of the part of that's part of the show is destroying the house. Oh god, the neighbors must fucking hate it. Uh, I think some of them don't love it, but some of them are <laughs> fine with it. Is it in like a semi-isolated neighborhood, or is it just like... Yeah, is it's it just... in like an isolated neighborhood. Okay, I guess that could be... Could I be mean, when we walked up, we couldn't hear anything, so like, I don't I don't think there's terrible noise leakage. So. Were, you, were you actually in the house for like several days? Or Yeah, I was in the house. I was just <clears throat> downstairs with all the crew while Alex was upstairs. Nice. Nice. I know. Uh, Spooky DM'd us and said, "Yeah, no." Said she, they saw Spooky you. sent a message. I heard that one. I said, "Fuck David Wilcock." Oh, really? Yeah. We got the David Wilcock mention on yeah, that. Yeah, David Wilcock made it on Fish Tank this year. Damn, we should pull. I guess we can't pull a clip now, but uh, uh, you'd have to. Yeah, it would be hard to find. Go now. through hundreds of hours of footage. <laughs> Speaking of clips, let's let's watch our president. Hell yeah, dude. The beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brewed beer. <laughs> wow. The oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. What? Beer brewed here. <laughs> what was it? Beer brewed here. It is used to make the bre- beer brewed here. It is used to make the beer brewed beer. Brew. <laughs> oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. What the fuck is this last part? Who Earth Rider? <laughs> oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. Beer thanks for the here. Great Lakes. <laughs> oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. Beer is this AI? Here. <laughs> no. Did he fucking this, say this? This is one of his last speeches. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Usually I've, I've, I've kind of stopped doing it because it's sad, but this one is just next level absolute gibberish you know in hearing them talk i'm actually shocked a nuclear war hasn't happened <laughs> like i did i mean look if i was russia and i wanted to you know fuck around this is the president i would fuck around with this is his pickup artist line 
Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. The beer brew. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I literally couldn't even tell you what this sentence was supposed to be about. Ooh, uh, well, oh, is this supposed to, ooh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I heard the thanks for the Great Lakes part, but yes, this does. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I could absolutely not tell you what that sentence was supposed to be. Oh, we're fucking doomed. We are fucking doomed. Hell yeah. I'm so sad that they're probably not going to give us debates. I want I want Trump v. Biden almost as bad as I want Trump v. Hillary. They have to know that that would not be uh, a good be, idea. Just one dude who's completely gone, brain dead, versus Donald Trump hopped up on Adderall again. How is it that, like... If you're a pilot, you have to retire at like 60 or something. We got to do something like that for the fucking president. It does seem like it shouldn't be that big of an ask to be like, hey, once you get your AARP card, you can't be president anymore. Yeah, maybe you should be able to string together a coherence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is used to make the blue beard in this I love the people who almost started laughing and then realized they shouldn't. I think I've heard a speech from his running mate. <laughs> You know I mean, mean, he look with the level of dementia going on, he is p pretty much retarded. That's uh, I mean, it's concerning, but because well, because the thing about dementia is it gets worse every day. If you if you want to bright side it, I guess we could say the fact that we haven't uh, all died and he's doing this poorly, the system. Works. Well, this is how you know the president really doesn't matter that much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you know, no matter how dumb the president may sound. The system works to some yeah, extent. Yeah, like it, it will move on regardless of the doddering fool we have in charge. At, at a certain point, doesn't it? Isn't it just kind of like cruel to? This is wheel incredibly him out there? cruel. I mean, he's literally speaking in gibberish. How old is he? Seven, seventy, eighty, eighty something? I think. No, he, is he really in his I fucking eighties? Because I think he's two years older than Trump, something like that. Eighty? Oh yeah. no! <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't pay attention to politics. But, but like, like, yeah, like. He's not speaking English anymore. Why? It's so funny that, like, we can't just be like, hey, let's let literally anyone else be in charge. I'm pretty sure. I, I saw a clip earlier, too, where he said his son was, like, buried in Paris or something. Oh, he, he mixes things up all the time. He mixes up major life events. We're, we're a country of, yeah, I know. He said his son died in Iraq, like, four times. <laughs> he said it more than that. We're, we are a country of 300 million people. There's not... There's not one 45-year-old, yeah. one 50-year-old. There's not one dude who... Yeah, one who dude who doesn't that. get a discount at IHOP. Yeah, can't we... We got to put an age cap on this shit. Once you hit, like, <laughs> 70, you should be it. They're you shouldn't just, be allowed to die in the position you're holding. Well, that's... I think the most realistic possibility is no matter who gets elected next, they're going to fucking die in office. Because by the time they both get out, they'd be uh, like 86. I mean, it'd be more impressive if they didn't die in office, yeah. Because they are, what's the average age? Like, what, uh, how old? What, in the Senate or the House? No, no, I mean, uh, like how life expectancy? The, yeah. Like 83, probably, American maybe? American male life expectancy. 77. Yeah, all right. Yeah, they've already they've already hit their expiration date. We are we are pushing it to its <laughs> limits. You got to know when to This is uh, like if, if you uh bet it all on a specific number in roulette and you win yeah. and then you just keep like letting it just ride. Just keep letting it fly. Like at a certain point, you know, it's great when it's working, but at a certain point you're going to fucking crap out. And yeah. Then... Look, if 77 is the expiration date, I think like 75 should be the best buy. I'm pretty sure, let me see here. I'm pretty sure pilots have to retire by uh well, pilot retirement age 67 yeah if you if, if we can't yeah trust but they're you, flying a plane that's harder than running a country if we can't trust you to fly the plane maybe you shouldn't be uh trusted to negotiate yeah we can't have any more sundowners in in office now speaking of pilots but, uh, but, uh, uh, <laughs> the beer brood brood here beer, brood, beer brood brood here <laughs> thanks for the great legs <laughs> <laughs> that's really my favorite part is because he'll just he'll come in to like he'll say words at some point at the end just Thanks for the Grey Lakes. It's You're just almost, like, what? It's almost John Madden-esque. Yeah, like, really. Just sort of an incoherent rambling, if, but he finishes strong. If it, John Madden had severe dementia. It may not mean anything, but to him it means, it feels like it means something. I just imagine having to wake up and be told you're president every day must suck. That'd be, we should write a movie like 50 First Dates, but yeah. every day you have to tell the president he's the president. He's the president. <laughs> oh, what a bummer that would be.
And that's why I think this United story and the DEI story, just because we said pilots, yeah. so Corey, yes. hits so hard. Charlie got a lot of flack for the, this. That's not Charlie, is it? No. Oh, okay. Back like, of a plane when the turbulence hits, Charlie's or when you're flying through a storm, and you're like, "I'm so glad I saw the guy with the right stuff and the square jaw." Get the right stuff. He means white skin. We right? know what <laughs> they mean. Yeah, when he says right stuff, that's what he's getting at. I take Into it. To the cockpit before we took off, and I feel better now. Thank you. No, I mean, about like, that. you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm gonna be like, "Boy, I hope he's qualified." <laughs> Me too, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Me too, dude. Oh, fuck. How many accidents have there been with, uh, I mean, there's been quite a few, like, aircraft just falling apart lately. Yeah, there's, it's not been great, you know, flights getting delayed regularly or canceled because they don't have enough crew members. I don't know how we reset this. I don't know what we have to do. Uh, there's so many aspects of society that are, are they're past the point of no return, which means we got to start getting creative. Yeah. There's got to be some way. National divorce, I guess. Cuz you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to put uh, these things back in the bottle. I think we just got to we got to chunk our, ourselves up. Maybe some great catastrophe would be Although the I, aliens would work. Look, if we're going to pull them out, now's not a bad time. This, uh, I mean, we are on that phase of the alien false flag. Now, when the aliens come and someone goes like, do black lives matter? <laughs> and they answer the wrong wrong way, that might not work either. Well, you know what, though? the the Not to get too depressing, but I did used to think some great catastrophe would be able to kind of uh, shake the country out of its malaise, and then COVID happened, and everything just got worse. Yeah, it got so, way worse. So, so I'm not sure if that's the right move. Yeah. If aliens happened, we'd probably have half the people not even thinking they're real. No, those are demons. Yeah, we need to kill them. Well, that is a Cliff High, notable nut A lot of Cliff people High. think they're demons. He's saying that. Which maybe they are. He's saying that within like this month, wow, shit's gonna go down. the The Jewish alien gods are oh, gonna come the Jew, back. The, they, the Jews in space. Yeah, in fact, let's let's check out Mr. Cliff. You know, who, you know, the Jews in space only have white pilots. <laughs> yeah, that's why their pilots are good. There's no black people. Now, flying, honestly, flying I have a bigger boot. problem with a woman pilot. I'm more concerned if I see a woman pilot, I might actually be concerned. But this is why I never fly sober. I always drink beforehand. The uh, the airport is like a international amnesty. Oh, Alex and I went. We went to the American Airlines lounge and drinks are free there, bud. <laughs> oh, he's he's got the platinum status. Oh, I got hammered. <laughs> that, I got hammered. That is I the took, way to do took it. Took six shots in like an hour and a half. Hell yeah! That's uh, and then passed out on the flight. God damn, how does he tweet so... Literally yesterday, Cliff said he was going to be off social media, and then I'm scrolling through his timeline he's now. He's not going to be off. He loves no. this shit. Critical to the pride, right? He's a schizophrenic. He needs somewhere to put his thoughts. He, uh, I do believe he's actually unmedicated bipolar, but I think he can... That's th just as good. Yeah, I think he thinks he can, like, alien his way out of being crazy. But I do appreciate his... Jesus Christ. This... There's got to be it, the same way that dudes over a certain age shouldn't be allowed to be president. Dudes with a certain amount of tweets should be put out to pastor. Yeah, like, they should cap your tweets at a certain point. If you tweet, and I'm not even talking like an attainable point for more, most normal human beings. I'm talking to people who post like a thousand times a day. Yes, if you're tweeting hundreds of times an hour, you got to knock it off. Yeah. I think I found it. This is uh, this is what's coming up for society as per Cliff High. What is coming up for you is not like a TikTok challenge. What is coming up for you over February, March, April, May, and June, well, that's kind of a big time frame, Cliff, is a period of time of very intense testing, as in the martial arts dojo sense. That is to say, you will be testing for your next rank belt. This is a hard test period. The point of it is to drill down and expose the holes in your narodyme to you. He also likes to invent a lot of words. Narodyme isn't bad, though. That's all right. But he's uh, he's big on uh, language since he uses AI to predict the future with word models or right, some shit. Right. No one else will matter during this period. Your sense of self will be naked to your vision. You will be fearful. Both of these will pass slowly. You will regret that aspect of it. Where does he talk about Jew aliens, though? Yeah, where are the space Jews? He never goes this long without the talking Elohim. About, about Jew aliens. Because he's been arguing with a fucking... Bo po oh, that maybe. No. His dog died, so that's that's why he originally said he was going to be leaving Twitter. 
Wow. His dog died and he couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, bad news just now. Boris didn't make it. Oh, man. Poor Boris. Well, at least he doesn't have to live with you anymore. The Jews got him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a wild ass speculation for the moment. Let's assume that, in spite of being a crazy fucker, I am correct about the Elohim as space aliens. Yeah, let's just let's just take me at my word for a minute. Let's just assume Jesus Christ is an alien. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> what if we just go from there? Uh, space aliens off on the moon out in our solar system. Let's also accept for our thinking that I may be correct about the battles, war, on the moon that are happening right this moment. Oh, yeah, the Jews are fighting a, a moon battle. Of course. If that is the case, it would follow that when humanity in mass learns of the existence of the Elohim and that there is a coming conflict contention between humans humans and these space alien fuckers it would not be a good thing to be viewed as a member of the elohim worship cult by humanity uh i is he saying normal people are going to start off in the jews because they yep. worship eight yep well that's concerning in my opinion this is what the jews will be facing this year and next an exposure of the elohim worship cult that wraps itself in a sacrificial layer of jews like a cloak of invisibility nice <laughs> Humans are nervous and getting more so with these new energies from the galactic center striking Earth now and being absorbed by us. It would not be good to have perception in general humanity emerge of being an anti-human subversive infiltrating cult in support of a space alien harvest of humans. Just noting that the Jews don't want the humans to be spooked. Yeah, don't you go and spook us or we might exterminate you. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of him juxtaposing like the Jews don't want humans to be spooked. Spooked, meaning he doesn't view Jews as humans. Yeah. Which, it's, uh, certain people have criticized him for being anti-Semitic. I'm not going to say that. I think he's so fucking nuts that he really does believe Jews are aliens. I'm sure he does seem to stand by what he says. I think, for the most part, not as many people are, are uh, as hateful as you might give them credit for being. A lot of people are just genuinely insane. Yeah, they're just dumb. Be and in terms of the types of crazy you can go, this isn't that bad. It, yeah. He it, hasn't killed anyone himself. Now, it's not great either. No, uh, it's concerning. In terms of high stakes uh, concerns, the Jews being aliens, not the biggest concern to me. He's allowed to believe that. Yeah. Now, if he starts going with, we got to eliminate the Elohim cult, that'll be a little more concerning. But You know, I mean, which, I mean, he does kind of seem to imply is coming. That is, maybe that's why he's getting off Twitter. He's got yeah. to prepare for the battle. He does seem to imply we're going to probably have to kill most of the Jews at some point. I like him, though. He's, uh, you know, he's jacked. He does martial arts. He wrote a book about having a six pack in your 60s. You can that's get that on cool. Amazon for like three bucks. That's nice. Speaking of three dollars, do you remember, and the answer is probably no, because we talked about it a very long time ago. Do you remember the, the name Tor Swats? Ugh, not really. All right, so... Let me see if I can find. I think Wired did an article about it back in the day. So Tor Swats was um, like a telegram service where you could contact a person, and for fifty bucks they would swatch your school. I think for nice. for seventy five bucks they would get a person like handcuffed and roughed up a little bit. Hell yeah! And then I think for celebrity cases you had to negotiate the price. And this guy had been doing it for several years at this point he's gotten like a ton of schools closed down he's cost people millions of dollars from like hell yeah shit. hell yeah and then he got arrested just the other day it turns out he's 17 which means he was like 14 or 15 at a certain point doing all of this what? i mean look he's an entrepreneur i that pricing seems low to me i mean i it's probably not that hard to do if you know what you're doing well, he does. Uh, he used like a AI voice thing, so he just yeah. had like a uh, phrases programmed in that would call and be like, "I have a bomb and a gun." Yeah, he I'm had going a system. To kill everyone. But I feel like if I was going to be convicted of terrorism, I'd need more than fifty dollars. That's well, that's, you know, you got to start somewhere. It's the pricing of a child, I think. Let me see. Uh, for more than a year, the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation has been hunting the person whom experts say is one of the most prolific swatters in American history. I think he was also involved in the uh, swatistic case back in the day where the guy 
they swatted the dude over the one dollar bet on Call of Duty, and then the cops right. showed up to the wrong home and killed the yeah, guy. Killed him. I think he was also kind of uh, involved in that. A 17-year-old from California is allegedly the swatter known as Tor Swats, according to sources familiar with the investigation. The teenager is currently in custody and awaiting extradition from California to Seminole County, Florida. The Florida State Attorney's Office tells Wired that he faces four felony counts. D- I, he has to be getting charged as an adult. Probably. This, I don't think you can do something like this and not be charged as an adult. I would assume so. Seminole County, located in Central Florida, had two high-profile swatting incidents within the last 12 months, including one targeting a mosque and another targeting a courthouse. Todd Brown, a spokesperson for Florida's Office of the State Attorney in the 18th Circuit, confirmed the charges against the teen in his extradition. Brown says he will be pro- oh yeah, prosecuted as an adult under Florida law. Wired is withholding the 17-year-old's name because we're pussies. I, uh... He did, he did almost get someone killed not too long ago. There was a, yeah. there was a streamer Ludwig. He swatted the dude's, uh, I think his girlfriend or something. But he stayed on the phone with the cops. So when the cops were yelling at his girlfriend to come out of the house, he was on the phone and he's like, "I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna start shooting." <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. There's a. Uh, it's a, a recklessness that can only be exhibited by a teenage boy. Look, you know, uh, sometimes they don't do the cost reward analysis properly. No, doing that for 70 bucks is uh, not the best use of your time. Well, thank God he'll spend a decade in jail. Yeah, I don't I don't even know what because I don't know what they charge that as. Like there's there's a movement now for people that want to charge it as um, attempted murder. Yeah, but I don't think that's that's currently the case. Hello, I am going to commit a mass shooting in the name of Satan. <laughs> All right, come on. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Movie Phone is going to commit a shooting. The We should probably also start training 911 operators to maybe recognize that when a guy calls in and says something like that, there's a good Ahoy, chance. Ahoy, I'm going to kill my whole family. That is... I. I guess they do ultimately take advantage of that, though, because then the police would look really fucking bad if some guy's like, yeah. hey, I'm going to shoot a bunch of kids. And hey, they're like, yeah, fuck you. You're lying. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, well, the caller spoke slowly and ter- deliberately when he told the dispatcher that he was armed with pipe bombs and an AR-15 rifle walking into a mosque to kill everyone he saw. The call ends with the sound of gunshots, likely sourced from a video game. He, uh, he sourced them from Counter-Strike, I believe. Nice. That day, the same voice over IP phone number called threats into at least two other mosques in Florida. According to police records obtained from Wired, that week in a private telegram chat, an individual opening the Tor Swats telegram channel took responsibility for sending police officers scrambling to as many as 20 schools Damn. in Washington State and four historically black colleges and universities in Texas. Well, that's not so. That's like a grand in a day. That's pretty. Yeah, good. If that's all. He, if that's what he's charging, that's pretty good for uh, for a child. The individual calls to Washington school affected at least eighteen thousand students and cost taxpayers two hundred and seventy one thousand dollars in lost instruction. I mean, time. you can't say the kid doesn't have a good work ethic. Yeah, it's it's a shame it couldn't be applied to something a bit uh, better. Yeah. Oh, uh, and the famous last words. I am never going to be caught. The caller laughed. I am invincible. I'm never going to be caught. Uh, <laughs> you can't get that bold, kid. It's just not It's not going to work out for it. Well, actually, I mean, it worked out for several years. So, it worked you know, out for a while. Look, I get why he thought he was never going to be caught. He was a child fooling the FBI. Yeah. Let's watch a guy come in his pants. Hell yeah, dude. This is, I don't, it's some sort of twerking competition, which I didn't know was like a thing. Wow. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Damn. Uh, this is so embarrassing. This is just straight nightmare fuel. Yeah. You're, you're literally center stage under a spotlight. You thought, look, you thought you were going to have a good time at the twerking contest, you know, maybe get twerked on a little. And the next thing you know, you bust in your pants. And an entire audience of women is pointing and laughing yeah. at you. Yeah. And this dude's about to roast you. He's coming in his pants. No. He's coming in his pants. He's coming in his pants. <laughs> Fucking Charlie Sloth or Tim Westwood. Does Tim she Westwood get ex- TV? Does she get extra points for that? 
I, I think that's, I mean, in terms of a twerking competition, that's got to be a perfect score. Yeah, right? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Hold it coming in Don't play Joe Budden. <laughs> now it's not the time for Pump It Up. Doing DJ tags after someone comes in their pants is so funny. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like <laughs> that. The Mongo, the Mongo. <laughs> I, uh, notice everyone has left being around him, too. They're just, uh, also, why is this guy not standing up? You got to get out of there. He has no yeah, self-preservation. Yeah, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he has climax. He has climax. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, what a disaster for that fella. I wish he would have just owned it. That's that would be the real Come cool in guy my pants. move. Yeah. Come in my pants. All right. The I, way they responded make me think like maybe she did get extra points. I it's they were so hyped. Maybe it's like a violation of the rules, like doing a backflip and figure skating. Oh, he, she went too far. Well, it's too dangerous a move. Oh, okay, yeah. You can't make anyone bust. No, you probably need a separate uh, <laughs> license to have a man come in your facility. I mean, I guess that does kind of almost make it into prostitution. Some might say more than kind of. Yeah. All yeah. right. I think we can wrap up on a guy busting it. Hell pants. yeah, dude. All right. Uh we patreon.com slash hidden plain sight radio double dose this week uh i believe i don't remember what the second one is i don't either it'll be there and it's yep. hilarious yeah it's great we are at hidden plain sight radio on instagram you're at brand steel hidden on instagram we're at the hidden pod on twitter until next time who do you mom out